So <laughs> I'm Stephanie from Catan Studio. I'm the organized play coordinator, and we are playing a demonstration game of Legend of the Conquerors, which is our new scenario expansion for Cities and Knights. Uh, we've got uh, some players from Virtual Gen Con joining uh, Ron from Catan Studio and me, and we are playing through this game. So as you watch us play, if you've got any questions, feel free to drop them into the chat here. Um, this was originally going to be on YouTube, but we've got a conflict over there, so we are, or on Facebook, so we're streaming to YouTube instead. Um, just drop into the chat and let us know if you've got any questions. We're happy to tell you anything you'd like to know about the game. So, and otherwise, you can just watch us play. <laughs> Pretend Correct. you're walking by us in a booth at Gen Con. There you go. So, uh, I would love to build another road if I can get away with it. Does anybody have wood or brick available for wheat? Don't have either. I'll trade a brick to get a ore. Uh, yeah, I'm 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 the wheat guy now, and no more ore. All right, <laughs> then uh, I will pass dice. All right, Blue, you're up. Uh, so the dice are up there. You yep. click on. Yeah, there you go. Uh, five and what's that? That's the move the black ship. Well, that's oh, not good. Fun things now. <laughs> so, right. so it moves to the sword picture, and we are going to move all of these conquerors. And we start down here on this end of the board because it's, it was, a, it's a green sword. So we're starting on this end. It, it follows the directional tile up here. So, Ron, if you will roll the dice for me. All right. You can move these guys. And are you going to move the, the dudes and flip them? Yep. All right. So here we go. Red. So All right. So red, he moves here. And this is a level two knight and a level two conqueror. So it is a standoff. They, neither one of them is defeated. They just glare at each other for a while. All right. Next one. Yellow. Yellow. He cannot move yellow because there's a conqueror in his way. So he's going to move green. And that's indicated by the little clockwise arrow on the direction indicator here. Mm -hmm. And green. He can't move green because that puts him into the water again. So he will move red. Green. All right. He can move green. He's a little drunk. Yellow. All right. We've got conquering of a hex here. So this hex is conquered. We turn that number Odai over, the number token over. He sits there until he's defeated or leaves that hex, and we bring a knight to this space that hex will not produce. Cool. Yellow. Okay. Yellow again. All right, he can't move yellow, so he's going to move green. Ooh, that's close to my house. <laughs> green all right he cannot move green because he can't pass this knight so he's going to stay right where he is or does he go in a does he go in a circle and move the other way moves the other way okay so he will go red <clears throat> all right Okay. Now we produce on fives. So orange gets a wood and a paper and another wood. No, just wood and paper. Uh, red gets two wood. Blue gets all the wheat in the universe. <laughs> <laughs> I say no. <laughs> I'm very proud of that blue setup. Don't mm -hmm. mock me. <laughs> White gets two sheep. And orange gets a sheep. So anybody watching might have noticed that this game doesn't have a robber. The conquerors do sort of act in a robber role. Um, they, they suppress production and destroy things. <laughs> oh. White should have gotten a sheep and a and a and a wheat. Where's the wheat for white? 
on a five oh. right here. Oh, that five. Yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot that five. There it is. I just have a settlement on the five right here. Yep, yep, yep. yep. I got it. Oh, it's one sheep. I was confusing your knight with uh, another settlement. All right. So there you are. One wheat, one sheep sitting right down by the dice. So I can build on whatever that scrub is that they're landing on the beach. Is that a, a buildable terrain or no? For yes, so you can build on that hex if you like. It doesn't produce anything, but you can build there. Yeah, and you build roads there. And yeah, it's, it's a swamp it's land. Basically, it's basically water for the purposes of the, you know, the resource production. Yeah. Just under the very marshy shoreland. Yeah. Is part of Catan. I basically want to build a road and then build a night. I'm just trying to think of the best place to put that from blue. Um, well, you might look at trying to get... I could promote him too, right? Yeah, if you, you promote, promote that. Him, you, if you promote him, you would take out this conqueror. So that's definitely a good idea. Oh! It would also <laughs> keep you from getting killed by this conqueror. <laughs> yeah, should this one move in, uh, he outnumbers you. Uh, you would need to, in order to promote him from a two, though, you'd need to get your uh, politics up to the third level. I don't think it's there. Oh, that's, oh, yeah. This yeah is you need one, one more set of coins, I believe. Yeah. The city's a knight's house of cards. <laughs> in the meantime, though, you could work on building some roads to build a trap for him. That might yep. work. A trap for him? Oh, he can't cross the roads? He can cross the roads, but not when they're defended by knights. Um Okay. Like he could cross over here if there was road, but no night. Right. Um, but if you if put one between the marsh and the ten, you have a night there. He can't cross it. Mm -hmm. Sold. Okay, I've got road building. I'm going to use that. Sweet. Thanks, neighbor. Ron appreciates you protecting his city. Yeah. And the <laughs> ten. That's a good spot. It should auto rotate if you get it right in the middle, but it's a little tricky. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I'll put this guy over here. I guess in two sections, right? Yep. Uh, so I think I can. So you can't build a one night on the intersection here because he would, um, sorry, my mouse is lagging. I build one here though, couldn't I? You, no. you can't build it here because he would automatically get killed by the two, but you could build it over here by the three. Um, your concern with that is gonna be if that big knight moves into this hex, he will automatically take your knight out. Oh, it's a little bit of a risk, but you know. Well, that's why we're playing games because we find exactly. out if things work or not. Okay, so a knight is a stone and a sheep and a sheep. So I'll do put that out. And you can always promote the, him to a two, and he'll be a little safer, at least from the two knights. That's this guy here, right? Is that what you're? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, I so, think. Are you promoting him immediately? Because that's a that's a level two knight. Uh, no, I need. Uh, yeah, you have a basic knight there. He's flipped over already. I've got a sheep available if you've got the ore. Trade me something for the sheep. Uh, I've got a sheep. I'm looking for ore. Is that what you're saying? No, I, I've got the same as you. Anybody else got ore? Or is it? I have an ore. Uh, how would you like two wheat for an ore? Uh, I can take that. Which, who is you? Or where, I'll right, this. right. Blue. Be white. White? Yeah. So. Or white, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm always blue when I play. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, okay. I'm always green, so it's weird playing Catan. <laughs> you got to play 5-6. I do. <laughs> and then I, I do, have to I do. do. Or at least get the pieces for us. So I think that promotes him, right? It does. So now he's a he's a level two, and he doesn't need to be active in order to defend against the conqueror. So if you don't have wheat, it's okay. 
Is this a level two here? These things are that one you had out there was a level two. Yeah, it's a little hard. Oh, I was I was cheating in quotes, was I? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> accidental cheating. And you have yeah. to activate him with something. To extra activation is grain, right? Activation is grain. You don't have to activate him to defend against the conquerors. He does need to be active to defend against the barbarians. They want him to be active because I got lots of grain anyway. So yeah, you also need him to be active if you ever want to move him. So yes, that's right. I remember. Good that. to get him started on as active if you can. Okay, I think I'm done. I like that turn. Well, if you, he's a two, right? Yeah, he's a two. He if you move him this. up there, you can take this guy out immediately. Right, but he can't move this turn. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I, think right, right. Yeah, I think you can't. I think you can't move the turn you built, right? They yep. have to. Right. Bring yeah, him you first. couldn't have built him in that space because he starts as a one, and then you promote him. So you can't yep. build the one in the space threatened by the two conquerors. Right. right. I forgot right. The, you right. can't spawn and move rule. All right. Awesome. So. Brian, you are up. Roll those dice. Just hit R. Yeah, highlight uh, them. Either either click on each one holding shift or draw a box around them while holding shift. And then hit R to roll them. Hey. All right, what's the event die? More hey, hey, hey. movement. Oh, well, the ship doesn't do anything to us on an empty circle, so we're good. we got to stop moving that ship, guys. <laughs> They're very aggressive. <laughs> you have a nine. A nine. So production on a nine? Yeah, production on a nine. All right, where's the nines? Oh, so or nine. nine. And a nine or... So we red that's it. gets this and that and another one of these. And then blue gets one of these, and one of these, and white gets one, two, three of these. White gets all the brick. Mm. There's just two nines on this board, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. just two nines. If there's no seven, what happens if we roll, or if there's no robber, what happens if we roll a seven? Just nothing? You lose cards if you're over the hand limit. Um, so, Brian, you might want to take a look at that. You've got a lot of cards in your hand. <laughs> we all did start with a city wall. Yeah, so everybody starts eight. with a hand limit of nine because there's a city wall by default on the board. Right, right, right. So you can build more cities and add more walls, but, yeah, you, you just need to be concerned about getting over, you know, ten cards or more. And so... To play a, re a uh, progress card, I yep. highlight it, and what I what I do. I'm you sorry. play. Do you just play the progress? Drag it out of your hand and then let go of it above the table. Yeah, and then we can all see which one you're playing. Okay. I don't want to. It's. How do I deselect a? a if you a, back up a little, back up a little bit with your mouse, then give your it gives you a little more table to drop on. Okay. And you can pull it a little further away from your hand. There you go. So I would like, I would like uh, stone. Okay. He's monopolying for ore. So anybody who's got ore, hand it over. Man, I'm glad I'm not on that nine. Two wow. cards, <laughs> two cards uh, at least two cards, only two cards. I, yeah, two I thought cards. we were friends. <laughs> it's two cards in, in cities and nights, so you only have to give him two. So, Stephanie, you could maximize that card so the audience could see it. Yeah, I can do that. Actually, I can't. Alex can. Okay, so I am going to build a road. Oops, I pulled my VP with me. Oh, you got your score tracker. Okay. Yeah, that's the other hidden danger of Tabletopia. The yeah, the pieces are a little bits. Sticky. <laughs> <laughs> How do you... they, tend to, they tend to stick to things like cards. Oh, wait a minute. Those are your ore, not going back to the bank. Yeah, I should have three more ore somewhere. Yeah, they're right next to the dice. Um, I, how do I... If you just hover it right center 
of the road on the center of the path, it snaps into place. Okay. Yeah, can we, can, we can do it for you if it can be a little bit touchy. There you go. Thank you. Yep. I still think if we were going to do a little improvement, we could put like a little teeny black dot in the middle of the road. Well, but it's hard to see even where. Yeah. Where that would line up to. Is this somebody's wood here on the on the board? Is some line that's, that's part of my road. Oh, okay. You spent that. Yeah. Cool. Okay. And I should have three or somewhere. They're over, they're they're over here. They're here. They're put in front of my. Okay. I think you was going on. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry for. No, it's answering. okay. No, you're fine. Okay, so I'm going to do another city. Okay. With the city wall. I believe White has acquired Longest Road. Yes, he has. Thank you. So we'll get that in front of you once we clean the cards up. <laughs> Here we go. And then I'm going to do my town hall. Okay, which settlement are you replacing? Um, I am going to do um, this one right here. So I take that, uh, take that out of the way. And drop a city in its place. There we go. I gotcha. Thank you. you do city wall. Okay. Yeah, that, that one's tricky. I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> it's, <laughs> that's, it's a mess with these road pieces. They don't, they don't play nice with the, mm -hmm. with the walls, really. And then... There we go. Yep. yep. I'll do... Um, upgrade. So many cards. He had 18 in his hand. I know. <laughs> Is that what he had? That's why yeah. he did that one. It's the mega turn. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Good production, though, for him. They, they, we had two nines and a five, I think. So. Or an eight. There was an eight earlier, too, wasn't there? Wasn't that your roll? A uh, six was the first one. <laughs> and then A to activate. Oh, or a wheat to activate, yeah. <clears throat> um, okay, that's right. Must feed them bread. All right. And then, ha then now that I've... We'll just flip him with the F key. That'll flip him over. Oh, okay. There that you go. Makes sense. And... You'll probably want to click off of him, too, just so he isn't highlighted and you don't move anything around. it. Just click over here off the board. There okay. you go. And I am done. Wow, okay. good turn. I'd say you are. Wow, okay. <laughs> <It's> impressive. <laughs> there's your there's your longest road tile there. All right, Red, you're up. And All right. right. Got to go up two, three spaces because of the longest road. Ones. Yep, and the city and everything. And a city, yeah. I like to play Alchemist. All right, so you you with Alchemist, you do everything except the event die. So, so I would like the... Red to be a three, and the yellow to be a six. Okay, so you can change that by just hovering your hand over the die and hitting the F key. Perfect. There you go. All right, green three. three. So anybody who's up updated to level two on the green flip chart gets a progress card. Uh, so red gets one, white does not, blue does not, I do. Oh, I thought mine was progressed there. I think blue is. Blue was. Did should I, be. I think it something? was. Oh, okay. Yeah, it should, it, it, it should have been there. Yeah, it started right. at three. Yeah. Very good. There's your card. I was just was looking say, at the game state. Ron, you know that that I set up blue. You know it's that's right. Blue. Your aqueduct quest. <laughs> <laughs> I, I may have clicked on it or something. 
No, it's fine. It's very easy to do in this interface. That is my that is my one complaint with the Tabletopia interface is how easy it is to accidentally move flip charts. Yeah, I'm I'm I may have done that. Yeah, if you just mouse wheel in that vicinity, it flips it all kinds of crazy and you can't tell where you were. <laughs> White gets all the brick in the world. What was the roll again? Nine. Nine. Oh, yeah. I'm working on White's brick. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, four brick for White. Whew. To go with that brick port. Yeah. That's Morgan's fault, isn't it? Morgan's fault. Didn't Morgan set up white? Yeah, he did. <laughs> Morgan is our uh, chief creative officer. We This is a staff game that we played that we screenshotted in the middle to set up. So I was playing blue. <laughs> Ron is always yellow. Mm -hmm. Or the closest facsimile thereof. Um, white. Could I possibly get a brick off of you? For yeah, maybe an ore? Um, okay. Put it by your longest road. Thank you. Okay, thanks. I build myself a road. Triangle. <laughs> I'll straighten around. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna play medicine, which will let me give me quite a discount on upgrading to a city. Oh, yeah. love that medicine card. I think this one will be the city. Get yourself some more cloth. So that's how we do it. Um, and then I will pass. All right. So it, me then, right? It is you. All right. Let's see what we got here. Green one and a two. Oh, we hit. Um, it's a blue <laughs> one, actually. Not. Oh, is it blue? Oh, yes. Yeah, it's blue. Yeah. All right, so anybody who's yeah. upgraded the blue track at all gets a progress yep. card? No. So blue does. I'll take Basically one, please. Every, everybody but Ron. <laughs> all right. Who needs the blue? Uh, white. 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 I drew mine. Who gets one, too? Yeah. Who gets one, too? All right. Uh, all right. First things first. Does anyone have a coin available? I saw all those nines getting rolled in a lot of cities. Why, why, why do you wonder? Why do you uh, wonder? <laughs> just taking the census. Just take this. Well, I'm, I'm looking to get one because I have zero blue and I would love at least one. Uh, I've got paper. Uh, I have a coin. Um, I'd be pretty interested in. Well, what do you what do you have available for the coin? Uh, oh. Available sheep, wheat, or paper. Sheep, wheat, or paper. Uh, paper. Paper. You got it. Thank you. I'm gonna immediately spend that and tick up one. This one. No, the other way. All right, Stephanie. How do I do that again? To do what? I'm sorry. The flip chart. Oh, there it is. Hold your think. mouse over it and hit F. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, I can move that guy out to the front. All right, we'll move this guy to the front. And then he deactivates. Remind me, when you move them, you can move them any distance along a road network, I think, right? To an yes, empty you spot. can. Your yeah. own road network. Your, yeah, your own road, road network, yeah. Yeah, I would love to run on other people's roads. That'd be awesome. Let's suggest that as a, a promo card, Ron. 
Oh, that would be cool. A dev and card pay, that lets you share other people's roads and pay them a tax to do it. Yeah, or something. yeah, yeah. Like toll like road. highway robbery. Or toll road. Yeah, highway yeah. robbery. <laughs> you have to pay in coin. <laughs> um, I'm going to activate that guy with the sweet. Does anybody have ore available? I'm fresh nope. out. All right. Well, I'll play this. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, maybe, okay. maybe I am. I'm looking for, uh, what am I looking for here? I'm looking for um, what did sheep actually? Yeah, yeah mine, mine are too thin at the moment. So I'm just gonna play my mining card and I'll take two from the 11 and two from the eight, get four or um, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna spend two sheep and two ore to upgrade this guy and build a new level one in the backfield. That guy was active. I'm gonna pay a wheat to activate this guy. Um, and take these two ore. Oops. Does anybody have a brick available for an ore? Oops. Yeah, I can give you a brick for an ore. All right. Now I'll pay this wood and that fine new brick to build a road down here. I should have qualified as long as you weren't blocking me with the road. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not blocking you, it's all good. I, I, I know, I know. <laughs> and I'm gonna run this guy up to here so that we have, well, this guy was already dead. I don't know if you can build him there, Ron, or can I, you? I didn't. I ran him out of the back. This guy I should have taken off when I upgraded to the level three knight. I don't know if you can build him there, Ron. Oh, I just built that guy. You're right. Uh, he's new. But I did kill this guy, so he's off in Deadlands. And what, what do the numbers on the invaders mean? Is that their strength or something? That's their strength. Yeah, that's how much they... Uh... That's how, how big a knight you need to kill them. <laughs> ah, makes sense. Okay. So I go up to level one on the defeated conquerors track. I've got the most, so I get up one on here. Um, pass dice. Cool, thanks. Mm -hmm. okay, so... I'm going to do the alchemist card. It's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. So I can pick the colored dice, right? So I want to do, what's the colored die that determines what we get? Is that the, the red, the red one? one? Red. Yeah, the, the so, yeah, this is the one that you match up with the event die, which is this one. So these two determine what progress card you get, if any. And ah, uh, you want this okay. one to be a three? I want that one to be three, and I want the yellow one to be a three as well. Ah, mm -hmm. I'm work five. I should stop, I should pause between go. rolls. Okay, there we go. How about a one and yeah, a five? Six. So then you roll the event die and see what you get. Ooh. Oh, shit. so we do that first. We've got we've got barbarians coming. Here comes the barbarian ship. You guys should be defending, no problem. Uh, <laughs> Let's just yeah, double we've check. Got like three, six. You need to see who has the highest knight strength, and those people will either get progress cards, or if it's a tie, if it's a tie, or a victory point if it's one yeah. person. Do the knights have to be active to defend? Yes, for the right. barbarian, yes. they do. So I've got a total four. of four. I've got a total four. of four. Red's got three, blue's got four, and white's got four. Also four. four. So looks like a tie between blue and white 
and, and orange. And orange, yep. So we each get two cards of our choice. Is that right? One card. Everybody one card. gets a progress card. Choose whichever one you like. That's right. Oops. Is it not the whole deck now? Come on. No. Click the no trade. Yeah. I think red only has two, correct? Red's got a three vic a three level knight out here at the frontier. Oh, I thought that was a two. My mistake. Yeah, yeah red is the only one update graded all the way in politics, so they've got. And I've got a victory yes. point card. So I move this to ten. All right. Yep. We have to do the uh, six card or the six roll. Yep. Everybody production on production. sixes. All right. So, two, three wheat there. Blue gets a wood and a paper and a sheep. Red, did you get your sheep already? Yes. All right. I got my sheep in my clock. I've got night juice in case anybody's interested. <laughs> okay, I can do a I guess shift to select these all right. Little settlement. Nice. Gonna activate a knight. I banked it. Did we, we need to flip all of our knights, right? Yes, after the defense, all the knights go inactive. Yeah, we'll watch. Apologize, forgot to remind y'all of that. I'm used to, on, on Katana the, University, I'm gonna get all the, uh, the uh, development cards, is that what they're called? Uh, progress, progress cards. Progress cards. Ah, that's right. used to be, it was in the other game. Uh, progress cards. I can only play one a turn. Is that right? You can play as many as you like in Cities and Nights. Did this knight get reactivated or should he be? I, I, I he just reactivated. Okay. Yes, okay. I, just, I just fed him. Yeah. Good deal. <laughs> Beer and bread. All the grain, right? That's all a knight needs. <laughs> bread and beer. Game in the just trying to understand what this. Sure, I'll do that. We're apparently getting help from the south. Nice. That's Thanks, the south. best thing ever. So you can remove a, the lowest ranked, one of the lowest ranked conquerors. So any of the two strength ones you can remove from the board. So we've got this guy. Is, is that right? Um, Am I? Yep. Correct. Oh, no, no, no. I'm wrong. That's Brian. Well, this is resources, wrong I think. Wrong card. Wrong card. Okay. My bad. That's fine. <laughs> This is take um, one, uh, this is to take a resource of yeah, each. This is shuffle. get stuff and shuffle them. Yeah, that's even better. Apologies. I mean, I'll do that. I guess. I'm getting my uh, my yeah. brand new I progress need to cards. Into a deck, right? Yeah, you can make it a deck, then flip it, then hit shuffle. Well, this is exciting. I've never done this before. Yeah. Flip it. And can is it S for shuffle? You can right click, and there's a symbol for it. Ah, uh, yeah. There you go. And then so, everybody draw one, and uh, you take like the rest. Mark gets to keep whatever's left. Do you draw in turn? Just draw. Just draw. It. Just draw. I mean, They're shuffled. Okay. And you get what's left, my friend. Well, that was exciting. Nice yeah, card. bribery is another good card. There's there's a bunch of new good good cards. Yeah, in I don't think I've seen set. that card before. Yeah, no, that's new for this game. Yeah, not quite where I want to be. Okay, I think I'm done my turn. We asked for troops, and they just sent resources. So. <laughs> <laughs> I am done my turn. I should state that instead. Okay, right. so you are up, Brian. I'm going to play bribery. <laughs> that's the one I was Ooh. talking about. So uh, this one is remove one of the lowest 
ranked conquerors from the board. And we have three, three, two. And you get to place a basic knight for free. We'll take this one. Go away. All right, so it's, no, that it doesn't stays, flip yet. It stays inactive yeah. until we bring an active knight to this hex. Okay. So red right. could build a knight right here. Or um, run this guy over. Yeah, once this conqueror goes away. But um, not the... I can activate him this turn. I can't move him this turn. Correct. Yeah. I mean, he's a level three knight. He can move oh, there. Oh, yeah, he can just the move two. there, yeah. But once yeah. he's he's not active yet. So. Correct. Okay. So we'll ro roll now. Roll now. And our... Got a blue five. Nobody's at five. And a six. A production on a six. Yeah. I don't like six. Yeah, I like sixes. They're a crowd pleaser. <laughs> um, I'll trade two bricks for two wood. Oh, I don't think I got my cards, did I? Oh, I hadn't handed to you yet. Apologies. What, uh, that's blue, right? Yeah, I think I got a wood, a paper. Yeah, you get a wood, a paper, and a sheep. And a sheep, yeah. Thank you. Yep. Okay. I'll trade a wood to get a, a, a excuse me, a brick to get a wood. I'll do that. I'll put it over by the dice. So I'm going to build a road. Uh, my aim is bad. I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah, it's weird. You have to hover it till the stack turns orange and then it snaps in place. Okay. Okay. And yeah, let's see. If you'd like coin, I would like paper. Just saying. Um, no thanks, I don't have any commodities. I'll do another brick for a wood. I'm all out here, sorry. Okay. So I'll activate my thanks. And I'm dead. All right. All right. Roll up, Red. See what we get. Might get more conquerors. So you roll, Red. Let's go for no conquerors. <laughs> yeah, you're safe once more. I get a card. All right. Any, yeah, he's, you're the only one that gets one, but yes. I don't think everybody else is at the top level of... No, nope, yet. yet. Then we got a nine. Yes. Yep. That's the worst number. Like I disagree. Four, can I get four bricks? Four bricks to white. One, two, three. Well, I gotta start using these cards. Four. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um, to start, I would like to. Okay, I get a brick and an door. Coming up. Uh, to start. I'm going to upgrade build the trading house. What's the best way to flip this? Hold um, your mouse over it and then just tap the F key on your keyboard. There cool. you go. Yeah. All right. Um, then Is I... 
Is Catan or any of the expansions available on Tabletopia regularly, or is this a special gig? No, this is special just for Gen Con. Yeah. I'm not, not playing that. I'm trying to keep it. Yeah, our games are available on Catan Universe. This ex this scenario is not. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then I have a question about the the the, the raiders. These guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if I have a level three knight and I bring him here, is he then fighting at a five, or is he fighting two combats? He's fighting. Of five, it's the combined. Just like the knights gang up on the conquerors, the conquerors will gang up on the knights. Okay, right. So you'd probably be better off putting him putting him here. There. Yeah, take out the two <laughs> first, and then come back, build another knight to get ready for that three. Mm -hmm. He's he's going to go to one of those two spaces. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to first do some road building so I can help out in the future. Uh, nice, the Great Wall. It'll work. There we go. Uh, it's a blue color. And we're going to. Well, okay. Well, put the sheet back. Uh, we're going to feed the level three, and then he's going to go here, ish. And then deactivate. Yes. Um, does anyone have... Can you activate then move? I thought with the three. Oh yeah, that's right. It's mighty. So you take out the two that was there. The red goes up by one. Uh, does anyone have coin? Somebody just got a bunch of coin. Well, let's talk. Uh, do you have paper? I do have paper. I would give, be happy to give you a coin for a paper. All right, let's do it. There you go. Thank you. Uh, now we're going to build that aqueduct. Oh, I, yeah, build that aqueduct. Or an aqueduct, what's it called? Cathedral. <laughs> All right. Okay. Come on. Um. Let's. Uh, oh, I don't want to call it a day, but I'll call it a day. That would be my turn. I'll take care of the coins. All right. Cool. All right. My roll. Well, before my roll, I'm gonna play. One of the new cards, Warlord Roven. All my knights are active for free. Very nice. What? Save That's that. That's, That's nice. a new card. Yeah, wow. save that wheat. <laughs> That's a great card. Yeah, there's a Warlord card in Cities and Knights as well. Yeah. What was there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. And then we're going to roll some dice. We just gave him a name in the expansion. <laughs> Her name. Oh, is it a her? Yeah, Robin. She's nice. Top dog on Catan in this era. Isn't it? Oh, wait. Maybe it's Thora that's. Yeah, I think Robin right. is a man. I yeah, approve right. of the roll of a five. Roll of a five and a one yellow. Yeah, Everybody Ruben. gets a yellow, I think. So on this next roll, I'm going to play God and set your event die. Just, um, <laughs> did did anybody uh, not get a yellow? We're uh, we're we're uh, running up on. Time. Is this red's yellow? <laughs> I blue does not get a yellow. I don't. Think. Oh, that's right. Blue doesn't. You're quite yeah. right. And here's white's yellow. I've already got one. Oh, you got it. Okay, I I'll take it. Red didn't get there. All right, good. There you go. Everybody good? Yep. Good. Uh, I gotta still get my production on fives, so I get a paper and wood. Is anybody else missing their production? Five. Yeah, blue, blue didn't get theirs. Yeah, blue gets a lot of wheat. Yeah, I need a white needs a wheat as well. White needs a wheat as well. Did red get their wood? Yes. Yeah, I saw hands grabbing, so I couldn't tell. <laughs> All right. Wow, that was that was a turn and a half. Um, Let's see. I can do that there. Does anybody have ore available? 
No so, ore available. All right. Um, I have an ore for some wheat. Sure, I'll do an ore for wheat. Cool. Anybody else Thank have you. ore ore for wheat? Uh oh. Thanks, Tabletopia. <laughs> Took my city. All right, no other ores. All right, so there's from my wheat port down by the six. There's another ore, and that, and one, two, three wheat for a city. Um, ooh, choices, choices. I guess I do this one. And I can't get there. I could go there. Yeah. I'm going to build a road. There. And I'll pass dice and clean up. So where do I get cloth from? I forget. Is that uh, sheep, sheep city? The commodity sheep on city. the sheep head. Sheep yeah. city. Okay, got it. All right. It... So we are going to have a barbarian movement here. If you can just roll these for me. So blue roll the two. The yellow, yeah. red. Dice. I mean, I can roll it unless you really want to. Oh, did you roll for me? I can. There. <laughs> it's a four. Oh, it's a four. Sure. Yeah. It's we not a seven, so to, I approve. Yeah, we just need to wrap this up a little bit. Um, you guys can continue to play. We just need to wrap up the stream. So um, we've got a new wave of conquerors are going to enter the board. These the are going to be the, the four strength conquerors. And they get placed on these hexes where they're marked with the little men with flags. Fourth strengths are coming out? Oh my gosh. Fourth, fourth yeah. strengths are coming out. <laughs> wow. In the later chapters, we get up to level six conquerors. Yeah. Holy smokes. Ooh, okay. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, it, it's like Catan meets Castle Defender. They just keep coming and keep getting stronger. So as you guys can see, the, the map gets Im imminent, infinitely more threatening the more... Conquerors enter the board. You guys did a pretty good job, though. You've killed three of them, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and wrap the stream up there. I'm going to do a quick rundown of the rules just for uh, because of the sound was out at the beginning of the stream. Um, and then we're going to end this. And you guys can continue to play for a little while if you like. What are we playing to? 13? Play 13. 13. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just so any of our viewers are aware, this is the first chapter, this has been the first chapter of the three chapter scenario for the cities and nice expansion. The map is the northwest area of Catan um, facing invasion by a conquering army. Uh, when the game begins, you see where the conquerors will land. As we showed you just a minute ago, they land in these spots, but you don't know how they're going to move because they move randomly with the roll of a die. Um, the players are working together, sort of, to um, defeat the enemy and uh, keep the conquerors from overrunning the island of Catan. So we showed you the mechanic in this game, the, the, the ship moving along the modified barbarian track, the hero tracks, the, and the victory point track to keep track of points, and some of the new progress cards. And um, I think you all got a pretty good idea of sort of how the game plays. And if you have any questions at all, you can ask us here in this chat on the channel. Or you can show, you know, send us a message to info at katanstudio.com and we'd be glad to talk to you about this game. So thanks We're everybody for, for joining us. Did any of y'all who are playing, any of y'all have any questions for me? Um, no. And I enjoyed like it. We so lost far, John but... there for a minute. I don't sure if he's still in oh, Zoom. Oh, sorry. I... Can you hear me? Yep, we can hear you. Yeah, you're still okay. in Zoom, but we, you dropped out of the Tabletopia game. Oh. Maybe reload your window, see if it reloads. But anyway, I, if, uh, um, if anyone has any about, questions. Nothing about Legends of Conquerors, but is there any new uh, um, expansions going to be really on the Catan universe anytime in the future? 
I'm not really sure what the plans are for Catan Universe at this point. I know that USM is working on a tournament system, so I'm really excited about that. Um, they, yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure what the plans are in terms of what the next expansions are for Catan okay. Universe. Yeah, table. The Catan Universe nice is run by uh, U United Soft Media, which is a division of Cosmos, the, the German licensor for it. So. Right. We always get secondhand info. From yeah, we don't have a lot of visibility to their plans. <laughs> but I do know that there's a tournament system in the works because I'm really excited about that. So Yeah. Anything okay. else? No. Awesome. Uh, the new really Discord. Good. Oh, right. Yeah. Catan Studio has a new Discord channel. Um, there's a link to it on CatanStudio.com. You can get a get an invitation there and come and uh, hang out with the other Catanimals. Um, Donna Pryor, our community manager, has been... Uh, working to get that built up. And she's also streaming Katana Universe on Twitch all weekend. So if anybody's into that. All right. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Um, we, we appreciate it. And we will be seeing you around either on YouTube, Facebook, or wherever you can find us online. Have a great day.